Hello everyone. Today we're going to cover the debugger in Microsoft Visual Studio. The debugger helps you walk through your code line by line and understand what it's doing and help you find why your code might not be working or just understanding it better. So the way we do that, first we want to click on this left hand pane here and put in what you see here is a red dot that red dot will stop the code in its operation. What the debugger does is allow us to stop the program at any point in time and see what's happened. So I'm not able to do it up here because these variables just get assigned. There's no action occurring. But I am allowed to do it down here where there's action taking place. So now that I have these breakpoints, the code will stop at those breakpoints when I use the program. So let's do an example. So let's say we have an item for 350 and let's say that we have two items. So when I click calculate here, we're going to enter this block of code. And you can see the little yellow arrow within the red circle. That's where my code is right now. And I don't want to look at the out list. I would like to look at this locals tab here. So at the bottom here, we have access to a whole host of things. You can look at your breakpoints. What I want to watch are the variable values, which are item price, num items, and total. Those should be updated as I walk through my code because those are the important values that I'm using to calculate the total and display. So let's continue. We have three operations we can do here. Step into, step over, step out. We're going to use the step over for now. A step into can get you deeper into the program. Some programs will go all the way into uh, some stuff that's not even present in your code, you can get into the deeper nested code. So we're just going to do the step over. Keep your eye on item price here because that's what line of code is about to be executed. So item price executes and then we see that the value of item price is now 3.5. It's in red here or like a pinkish red. So now num items should be assigned here. It's currently zero. We step over the code we see that the value is now 2. Total will be the next line of code that runs. Total is now 7. And then when we execute this code, the message box should appear. And there it is. And that's a quick rundown of how to use the debugger in Microsoft Visual Studio.